Yes, come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I'm Sissy, Sissy HGK. The HR asked that I come here 9 a.m. this morning. Look at that. Right on time. Great. Uh, how are you? Very well, thank you, sir. Please have a seat. Uh, let me just pull up your CV. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Okay, very impressive. I hope you're as good as your CV claims. I am. No embellishments necessary. Okay, I hope so, because the last guy in this position was really good. So I'm hoping you're as good, if not better. Hmm? Well, I pride myself with being a very effective person. Good. good. I'm bringing my 100% to the company. I have a lot of experience on the job, and that is what I am offering this company. Experience. Excellent. I like your confidence. Thank you, sir. Welcome to Zeke Enterprise, uh, CCHK. Yes, Fantastic. No, no, no. Just uh, call me Philip. That's enough. Oh, okay, sir. Sorry, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You have a nice day. All right. Have a good day. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, this is my number. Uh, I'm going to need you to come up with a campaign plan for our products coming out this month. Did Mabel speak to you about them? Y yes, yes, sir, she did. She showed me a few samples before I left the office this evening. So I, I plan to start off tomorrow. Make that tonight, please. Oh. Yeah, I need to see the mock designs first thing in the morning. Oh. Okay, well, I, I guess I can work with that. Good. Don't disappoint me, Miss Ejike. I have really high expectations of you. Of course not. I, I wouldn't, sir. Well, I guess there's no sleep for me tonight. <laughs> Yes, come in. Yes, sir? Hey, Cece, I asked you to send me a pitch document, right? I did, of course. It's on your email. Oh, uh, let me just check. Oh, yeah, there it is. Um, 
yeah so this has all the designs for all the products that maybe i'll send to you right for just the two she showed me yesterday two okay that's that's fine um yeah, this should do. Just, um, you have to go back to her for details of the other products, okay? Yes, sir. And then I have to go through this, and if I have any questions, I'll come back to you. Love Sorry, one second. Hey, Mom, good afternoon. Uh, no, I haven't looked at the family group. <laughs> what did Auntie Agnita do this time? Uh... Mom, give me a sec. Hold on, please. Um, so it's fine. If I have any issues, I'll come back to you, okay? So you can go. Not okay. a problem, sir. That's fine. You can go. Thank you. Yes, Mom. You were saying? Really? Wow. The same Auntie Anita that you paid her medical bills. That's my boss, right? Okay, so personalized car services is not part of your salary. Abby? With him as the driver. He was just being friendly. Besides, we were going the same direction, so. Oh. What? So he now lives in our neighborhood. What is wrong with you, Joy? <laughs> you know, I, what can you stop being weird? Girl, please stop acting naive. I saw you two flirting. You outside. saw nothing. It was just a kind. So, was it a date? No, he uh, called it a friendly lunch. Okay, so was he supposed to be there as a friend or as your boss? Well, if he had shown up, I would have been able to answer that. Okay, so if he's your friend, then you can get mad at him for standing you up. But as your boss, not so much. Well, I guess they cancel each other then. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. You see, this is what happens when you go on a date with a fine and a rich guy who also happens to be your boss. You can decide to stand you up and owe you no explanation and you won't say anything. You can't even get upset. I know. Because if you do, mm -hmm. then he's gonna fire you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's calling. Should I pick? Or maybe I should just ignore. Ignore? Yeah. Then you have to explain to him at the office why you were ignoring his call. Shh. Hello, hi, Mr. Phillips. I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. How how are you? I Yeah, of course. I I was there. I called your number a couple times, but Cece. Look, I'm sorry for not showing up. I really wanted to, but something came up with my mom. Oh wow, I'm so sorry about that. I hope she's fine. Yeah, yeah, she's great. She just begged me to take her to this woman's um women's meeting. When I got there, my phone died. I didn't have my charger with. Look, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's it's fine. Rain check? Yeah, sure. Definitely. So what's up? He had to take his mother to some women's meeting. So our date was the collateral damage. You mean your friendly lunch? <laughs> yes, friendly <laughs> lunch. <laughs> Hey, hey, 
Hey, what's going on? Look, I know I completely deserve it, but I should have told you about the change in plans, and I didn't. I'm sorry. It's fine. No, it's not. I'd like to make it up to you. No, you don't. You don't have to. It's okay. I insist, Cece. The food at this place is really good, honestly. Okay, give me a second chance. Thing is, I'm very swamped up with work. I mean, my boss has me on some very strict deadlines. <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't mind. And this time, I'll be there, 100%. I, d I don't know, honestly, because the last time, it was quite embarrassing. It won't happen again, I give you my word. Okay, fine. Deal? Yeah, deal. Okay, good. So see you around. Excuse me. Okay. I mean, it's true, right? I've had my fair share of challenges, and I just feel challenges happen to make you. Um, excuse me. Yeah, sorry, my mom. Oh, you two seem pretty close. <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, I've seen you speak to her a few times, once or twice, and you two seem to have a very close relationship. Yeah, we're, we're kind of close. I mean, she's my backbone. I'm sure you love her once you meet her. Yeah. You know what, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to answer this. If not, you just keep calling. Yeah? She's on the roll. Hey, Mom. No, I haven't been ignoring your calls. I... Mom, I'm out. No, I'm not sure when I'll be back. Mom, can I call you back? Yeah, I'll have to call you back. Okay, bye. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I hope everything is okay. Yeah, yeah, everything is fine. She's just worried I haven't clocked in. <laughs> okay. This, this is it. Yeah, pretty much. That's, uh, that's the final design. When I submitted this ad at first, you, you didn't seem like you didn't like it. Yeah, I just... Uh, I mean, the, the, the color theme was okay. You said it was dope. Yes, I, I, I said that. So what changed? Because this is definitely not the ad I put together. This is not what I put together. What changed? Sissy, I have a right to change my mind, don't I? Besides, my mom and I run the company and she isn't a big fan of the, of the green you used. I used teal. Right, teal, whatever. She gives her input to the final design before the ad comes out and she wanted that changed. Oh. I mean, it's not a big deal, okay? Your design was great, you know, beautiful work. But it just needs a little tweak, that's all. It's okay, I understand. Good. Hmm. That boy behaves like a movie's boy. It's like everything has to be approved and confirmed by his mother. Hmm. I mean, I get it, they, they run the company together, but the hold she has on him, it's, right. only, ugh, it's so unbelievable. All right, mm -hmm. but Philip seems very manly when you meet him. He wouldn't pass for a mommy's boy. Girl, he is a proper mommy's boy. Hmm. You need to see the way he even picks up her calls or the way he talks about her. It's very weird. Wow. Have you seen his mother in person? That's my point. I haven't even met this woman in person. But I can feel the power she holds over this guy. Hmm. I'm telling you, it's just weird. It's actually weird. Yeah. Oh.
just feels right, you know? Are you sure? Yes, 100%. I don't know. I... <sighs> it's going to be fine. Trust me. We've been dating for a while now and we love each other, right? Mm -hmm. My mom knows everything about me. So why not just tell her? Maybe it's just too early? No, how about? It's definitely not too early. Okay? I, I, I don't feel comfortable keeping my mom in the dark about this. Right? It's just natural that we tell her. She knows I'm seeing someone, so why not tell her? She, I know she wants to know the person I'm seeing. Hmm? Don't worry, she's the most charming person you ever meet. Trust me. Okay. You're going to love her. <laughs> Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. So you are the one distracting my son from work? Oh, 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 oh. You know, I thought he was joking when he told me that his girlfriend and his new marketing executive is the same person. I don't understand. Excuse me. Now that I know he's leaving this sad test in my mouth. Excuse me, I need to take a call. Look, I know the meeting with my mom didn't go well, but it doesn't mean she hates you. Are you sure about that? Yes. Hmm. Phil, you told me she's a no-drama mother. Phil, that was not what I sensed. Look, Cece, just chill. I'm okay? chilled. It's, I'm chilled. I'm just speaking out loud, wondering if she thinks our relationship is a bad idea. Why would you say that? I'm stating the obvious, Phil. Listen, I want us to work. I really do, but... I know bots. Okay, we are going to work. I love you, Cece. I love you more than anything in this world. My mom is only acting up because all of this is strange to her. She's never seen me like this before. But she'll come around. You see. Hmm? Okay. Let me get you something to drink. Sure. <laughs> One second. Are you still upset? Yes, Mom, I'm upset. How do you treat her like that? I told you that she was coming to see you and, and then you just treat her like she's some random person. Her feelings for this girl is it's not casual. And why on earth will you start catching feelings for your staff? What possesses you to do that? And you feel that I will approve? You're my mother. You're supposed to be concerned about my happiness. Really? Philip, emotional black man does not look good on you. And besides, there are thousands of Yoruba girls that can make you happy. Mom, please. Come on. But well, by the way, why did you even bring that mannerless girl home? That could not even kneel to greet your own mother. Were you happy with that? Oh, now you are getting offended, right? I shouldn't be telling you the truth anymore. Tons of you bad girls that will jump at being your wife. Philip, jump at being your wife. What am I even saying? There's one that is standing before you. Yemi, Yemi is there. I'm not having this conversation. Phil? 
Are you running away from the truth? It's not my truth, Mom. Phil, you're working out some meal. Wait, what? She said that to you? Mm hmm What did Philip say? How did he react to it? He... He didn't talk much. He said he was going to talk to her about it. Like what? Like you are some old-fashioned item that needs convincing to buy. Listen, I... I honestly do not want to think too deep about this, all right? Maybe she did it because... She's my boss. Or because she has more money or she was being overprotective. Listen, I, I don't know, I, I don't want to think about that. And you, you believe that? Because I'm finding it so hard to believe. I mean, you once called Philip a mommy's boy, mm -hmm. right? That's what he is. I mean, he waits for mommy's approval for everything. And now she doesn't like you? What are you saying? What I'm trying to say here is, the mama's boy hardly ever go against her mother's wishes. Hence the name mama's boy. So what do you want me to do? I don't know, I'm just painting the big picture for you. So good. Thank you, thank you, Ma. You look well too. Thank you. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> You're welcome, my darling. Thank you, Mom. Happy to see you. Thank you. But everywhere looks just like I remember it. Mm -hmm. It just looks grander. If you said that, some people call that growth. <laughs> Ma, please, my mom says I should collect Ashwebi money from you. Oh, yes. I will go upstairs and get it right now. Okay. Um, Philip is upstairs. I'll let him know you're around. Okay. <laughs> All right. My daughter, I'm going to <laughs> Hey, son. Hey, mom. <laughs> What's up with you? Uh, nothing much, just uh, work stuff. So, guess who is here? Who? Just guess. Just guess. Mom, I can't do. Yemsi. Yemsi? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is she doing here? Oh, <laughs> just come and say hi to her. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Radiant as ever. Thank you. <laughs> you don't look bad yourself. Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just there. I'm, I'm good. I'm yeah. Good. It's good to see you. <laughs> no. Wow. Like, oh, I mean, uh, it's nice. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Please sit down. Thank you. Wow. I can't believe you're actually in my house. No right. I'm happy to be here. Good, good. Uh, didn't my mom offer you a drink or something? Yeah, not yet. Oh, um, gin and tonic, right? That <laughs> used to be your drink. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> no? Mm-hmm. I'm more of a wine girl now. Right. Preferably white wine. I got you. Give me a second. Okay? All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Birthdays should be wild. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my friend told me during our youth service in Kogi State. <laughs> <laughs> So what wild thing are we doing for your birthday? Babe, I think we should just Netflix and chill. What? Yes. Hell no. That's so weekend, Netflix oh, and chill. God. Look, we should be painting the entire town red. And then when we're done, we'll go to the next town and paint it red. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that too, babe. Usually my birthdays are quiet, calm and quiet. No, I think we should do something really unique. Yeah, maybe we should go somewhere. Cape Town? Really? Yeah, why not? I think that would be awesome. Just pack our bags and off to Cape Town. What do you think? Well, I... I feel I don't... Cape Town, here we <laughs> come. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So, what do you think of her? Of who? Don't pretend as if you don't know who I'm talking about. Hear me, of course. You enjoyed her company the last time, don't you? <sighs> Mommy, I was just being nice. So now you're talking to a child, right? Something that is obvious that you clearly like her. <sighs> Mommy, I have a girlfriend. <sighs> okay. Let's just look at it from my own way. You know, in a way, Yemi is already a member of this family. And you guys have been besties from womb. See, if you marry Yemi, she will not take you away from me. Wait. Mommy, first of all, I'm not a thing that can be taken away from you. Okay, like... Sissy is nice. She's a kind-hearted person. Like, she, she can't take me away from you. She's not that person. Well, she's not Yemi. I'm in love with Sissy, Mom. And I will not approve. I don't like her. See, you're my child, and I don't want you to make mistake in the name of love. Amy is a fantastic girl from a good background. Not one random girl that nobody knows her background. She's good for me. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Baby girl, look at you. Mm. Wait, 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 the kidneys too. Like, These are shower vibes. Look at you. <laughs> so you see your life? <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to buy this top. But when I saw it, this top was mm -hmm. speaking of course to me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your trip, babes. How long are you spending? Three two, days? Two seven days? Two weeks, I guess. Yeah. He wants it to be a vacation, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Babe. Yeah. Are you sure he's not going to pop the question? No. I mean, I I don't know. I, mm -hmm. We haven't even spoken about that, I beg. Okay, but he can be spontaneous and that can be romantic. You know, travel single and come back engaged. Yes. I like how your mind is traveling. <laughs> but please bring it back here. Okay, this is just a birthday trip. I don't want to think too deep mm -hmm. of it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Ah, oh, Phil, sent a voice note. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Um, babe, look, something has come up. My mom has just informed me that my grandfather's remembrance coincides with your birthday. Look, I know this is coming a bit late, but my mom only told me this a few moments ago. I didn't know we had something planned this year. It's really weird for me to skip it since members of our family are going to be around from all over the place. My sister's flying in from Abuja and she's here with her husband. My point is I'm sorry. We'll talk more about it when we see. I love you. But I'm sorry we're going to have to cancel. I think his mother just sabotaged our trip. Why will she do that? You know, now that I'm actually thinking about it, I'm certain that his mother sabotaged our trip. Because who comes up with the remembrance of, of a grandfather all of a sudden? You know, that woman never hid the fact that she didn't like me from the first time we met. Okay, and how is this a ploy from his mother? I'm sure Phil must have told her about the trip. And then she came up with this 
Of course. And then she came up with this remembrance. You know, I'm just going to call him and... And then on the side... Sorry, excuse me. upset. I'm... I'm just wondering what caused you to change your mind all of a sudden. I told you on the voice note, my mom just brought up this whole remembrance thing and it's a family thing. Can't just get up and leave. Hmm. Right. I, I understand completely and I respect it. But quick question. Did you by any chance tell your mom about our trip? Yeah. It was then she pointed out the coincidence. She had everything planned this year for the remembrance. Of course. Okay. I completely understand. I get that. Mom is planning to make the remembrance a five-day event, so we can't even make the trip shorter. Of course. I completely understand. Look, babe, please don't be offended. We can take this trip after the whole thing. I just wanted to tell you this in person, but I'm sending this voice note because she immediately dragged me into planning this thing. Hmm. Of course. How's the planning going? Everything on lockdown? Not yet. Only catering, but my mom's friend is a good caterer, so that one is kind of easy. Good. Good for you. Well, I'll call you back, all right? I love you. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Babe, are you ready to talk? Please, make me understand. You love this guy, why don't you want to get married to him? I mean, just some weeks ago we were talking about him proposing to you and you were open to the idea. Because I want to marry him. I want to marry him badly. But there's no way we can work out. Not with his mother having him wrapped around her fingers. I mean, you can talk to him about it. And he can, you know, figure out a way to, you know, to sort out his attachment issues with his mom. So then I'll be the one to break their union. Let's say I have this conversation. What exactly am I going to say? Philip sees no wrong in that woman. Anything she says is the law. You know, Philip and I could be on a date. And once that woman calls, he would abandon everything. No questions Seriously? asked. I haven't even said anything. I haven't even told you half of what I've dealt with. You know nothing. I'm not about to be that wife that, that fights her mother-in-law every day to get the attention of her husband. No, I refuse to live that life. Then to top it up, the woman doesn't like me. What kind of life is that? So what's the point? What's the point of saying yes? It's okay, darling. Everything will be fine, all right? Yeah, come in. Yeah, this came in for you.
ACC, I know you're not answering my call, so I decided to send this here. What's the meaning of this? What exactly was my offense? If you wanted to quit, why didn't you just say it to my face? What's the meaning of this? That's... Look, at least you owe me that. Okay, this is absolutely ridiculous. Look, that's the least you owe me. A bloody explanation. On the dining room untouched. I'm not hungry, Mom. Phil, you have to stop this thing. It doesn't make any sense. My feelings don't make any sense. Yes. I mean, you're feeling for a girl who doesn't care about you. She didn't even give you explanation for the breakup. She just walked out on you just like that. You know you're my hero. My superstar. Mom. What? It's true. She was a nobody. She's still a nobody. You picked interest in her. You upgraded her. And now she feels too big for you. That she ended a relationship without an explanation. You see, my son, there are many days ahead, brighter days ahead. And I see exotic and smart women in your life. Take Yemi for instance. She's beautiful. She's hardworking and she's very intelligent. Mom, this is not the right time for that. No, oh, it is. It is, please. You cannot be brooding over an insignificant human when you have a queen that will make an attractive wife. Yemi is the perfect one for you. And you know what? She will want you as her husband. And you know that because? Because we women have nose for things like that. I'm telling you. I saw it in her eyes the last time she came. The moment I mentioned you, there's this excitement. And I knew it. Darling, I know you're hurting. I know that. But you need to move on. Please move on with Yemi. Please. Okay? Yeah, come, let's go to the dining so you have your food. Mm hmm? My love, I'm waiting for you, okay? <laughs> I'm waiting. think there's any coming back from this I'm done and I made it clear to him that we are done I personally believe you shouldn't quit your job I mean I know he's your boss but you've had a job before you met him you don't think it'll be weird exactly I want a first start 
I'll get another job. Really? Yes. Do you know how, how, how long it took you to get a job at Ziki Enterprise? Babe, have you forgotten how you've been job hunting? I'll surpass this. I will. I mean, take it easy. Phil is a good guy. He's, he's nice, he's amazing, he's... But a marriage, relationship, is never going to work. It'll be toxic. And I don't want that. It's okay. Everything will be fine, right? I need to snap you out of this mood. I'm gonna get you some alcohol. Okay? Really? Yes. Me too. Enough, okay? Everything will be fine, darling. I'll be right back. Hey, hey. Uh, where are you coming from? Yo, I had a meeting with my clients. The new furniture company I'm representing. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe you can actually come with me one of these days. So I'm sure there would be an opening for a marketer. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. That would be very good. I mean, I right now I'm already applying, but I've submitted my CVs to a few companies I've seen online. Okay, how is that going so far? Not good. I haven't received anything good yet. But I'll just have to wait for their response. Mm -hmm. I have about six companies I'm targeting. I'm just hoping that at least one pans out. Don't worry. It's real God if willing, it okay? doesn't, I'm back to Enugu. Uh -uh. I'm telling you, babe, I can't even afford this rent. <laughs> I will go back. I will start business with my mother. Hey. I'm not... <laughs> babe, I'm at my wit's end. Don't worry. All the application, not one has come through. <laughs> Don't so worry. Awesome. I would, I'll would speak to my client. Exactly. I'm very sure that there would be an opening somehow for a marketer, a marketing agent. Babe, it doesn't even have to I'm be sure. a marketing agent. Anything. At this point, I just need a job. Don't worry, you get a job and you get your ass out of the bed and start the hustle, Thank okay? You. <laughs> This is not lying, right? <laughs> Please, is your food in the house, I beg? I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't know. Hey. I've caught... See this life? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Where is she? How's she doing? She's fine. Uh, but she doesn't want to see you. I mean, there's a reason why she's not picking up your calls. Look, Joy, I know if she sees me in person, she'll feel different. Please. Come on, Phil. We've talked about this already. We know she's the one who did this, right? She's the one who broke us, and now she's, she's hiding from me. She's not hiding from you. She's moving on. And I think you should do the same, too. How am I supposed to move on? I'm in love with her, Joy. I can't... I can't function without her. I can't sleep. Nothing makes sense anymore. Phil, she, she doesn't hate you, Phil. I mean, I can't describe how and what she's going through right now, but it's not hate, okay? But she's, she's very heartbroken, though. So just go home and I'll try to talk to her, you know, try to make her change her mind, but... There's nothing I can do. I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, don't mind that stupid girl. He gave her a ring, and according to my son, she said no, I ran off. I don't know. Search me. You know, I have sensed that girl's trouble from afar. And I kept telling my son, but he wouldn't listen until she pulled this stunt. How is Philip holding up? My dear, he's getting by. You know, breakup is always a terrible thing. But he's taking it one at a time. And now he'll be fine. My son will be fine. Hey, my dear. This is the great opportunity we have to enact what we discussed. 
There's no point waiting any longer. What if they don't agree? I mean, we can't force them. I know. I know we cannot force them, but uh, I've spoken to my son, and marrying your daughter won't be a bad idea at all. You know, it's that stupid girl that has been an obstacle. Now that Philip is single, it will be much easier, and there is no point holding it again. Okay, like I said, I like the idea. I will let you know how it goes with TMC. That's very good. Oh, sorry, Esther. I will need to call you back. I need to attend to some things. Okay, no problem. I'll be expecting your call. Okay. And do have a great day. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> What's going on? This isn't our usual dinner setting. I know. And that's because we're expecting some guests. Oh. Why am I just finding out about this? Well, it's kind of impromptu. My friend Dorothy and her daughter Yemi are on their way here. I see. So get ready, we're about to feast. Okay. <laughs> okay. More plate. with a smile. <laughs> well, I feel like today went well. Okay. So do you believe you got the job? I, I hope. I hope so. Yeah. I mean, it was the boss herself that handled my interview. Yeah. And I'm just hoping that... Sorry, excuse me. It's a message from the company. Okay. I got it! I got it! I got the job! Oh my god! <sighs> okay, <laughs> you are looking at the executive assistant mm -hmm. to the managing director of Cooper's International. Wow! <laughs> that was fast! I know! I'm so happy for you! Congratulations! Thank you! <laughs> thank, you thank you! Wow! Finally! <laughs> you know, I don't know, there was just. There was something about the interview. Uh -huh. You know, the boss and I, it was like we were in sync. Honestly, I, I thought she was going to hire me immediately. Right. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you, girl. Congrats. I'm really proud of you. So Thank happy. you. Thank you. Girl, I'm famished. Yes. Is there food? No, because food. I'm famished. <laughs> Mommy, so why didn't you invite Sophie? You should have liked to be at this dinner. Well, this welcome dinner is just for you and you alone. <laughs> Feels mommy put this together just to welcome you back into the country. Mm. She loves you so much. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I'm sure her son loves you too. <laughs> okay, mommy, <laughs> stop. Stop words. Stop words. You both are grown adults. And I believe there's no big deal in you guys coming together to be one. <laughs> yes, because Esther will be over the moon if this happens. Mommy, I know. I know what. I mean, I can't. But what? But what? You're not getting any younger. And what is causing the old up? Eh? Mommy. You don't have any money in your okay, life. Okay, well, mommy, we can stop this conversation now. I get it. But that is not a no. Mommy, I've heard you. I've heard it's okay. Okay, darling. That is not a no. So, are you saying you don't want Yemi and Phil to happen? Mommy, God. You heard me, Dink? Mommy, I've heard. I've heard. <laughs> okay, dear, but that is not a no. Hey. Mommy, I get it. Let's see how it goes. Okay, dear.
darling. What? What? Hope the food was nice. Yes, my dear, it was really nice. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I'm glad you love it. So this is my little way, little token of welcoming you back to Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Phil? Are you good? Yes, ma'am. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, D. Yes. Um, there's something I would like to show you. Oh, okay. There's this fabric, very beautiful, that Margaret brought from China. Oh. I'd like to show you. Are you done eating? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. Let's go. I'd like to show my friend something. Okay. So you guys should excuse us. Right. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> so how have you been? What have you been up to? I'm good. So so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard you started a tech firm. Yeah. Big moves. <laughs> I'm trying my best. You're trying to become the tech giant of Africa. <laughs> you're, you're just being modest. Okay, there's that. <laughs> Are you seeing someone? Not at the moment. I... I was dating someone, but it didn't turn how we expected. The guy was trying to date me and half the girls in London. Ouch. Yeah. I mean, it's okay, I'm fine. Good readers to STDs and STIs in human flesh. <laughs> I hear you almost got engaged. Yes, I was. I guess some things are not meant to be. How'd you find out? Sophie, my sister. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's what we get from public proposals. Yeah. <laughs> well, how are you doing though? I tried to kill myself when it happened. What? Yeah. The rejection took me by surprise. It was completely out of the blues. It hit me hard, you know. I, I was in a really dark place. It was the worst breakup of my life, you know, but I, I managed to find strength to pull through, you know. I'm not completely out of the woods yet, but I'm getting better. I'm healing. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Breakups are never easy. Yeah. I, I just need to figure out why women keep running away from me, you know? Don't say that. You're right. I went to school. I wasn't running from you. Mine is different. Yeah. <laughs> Or you stop returning my calls. Okay, so I have an explanation for that. I'm all ears. What had happened was... I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what I'm, what, what I'm asking for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's kind of a big deal, so... Yeah, sure, I know. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I was ghosting you or anything. I, yeah, you know, when I went to school, I went in the middle of semester, so there was so much work to do. I had little time. And then I... Uh... And then you met a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, it wasn't like uh, we were serious before I left. And long distance never really works anyways. Don't. 
conclude if you didn't give it a shot. I know. I just really thought that Samson was the guy for me at the time. I mean, it happens, but you should have just told me instead of letting me find out about Samson from your sister. I know, I'm sorry. It's not like I was trying to ignore you. I just didn't know how to tell you. Yeah, it's okay. But Samson is gone and I'm here. Now. Yeah, Samson is gone. Yeah, now. So do you want to go inside? Sure. But Sissy has moved on and she's done with the relationship. Yeah, I don't get it. How is she done with it? Like, is there someone else? Because honestly, you can tell me, I, I, I can take it. But I, I, I need to know why she's blaming me for a fool. No, Philip, don't talk this way, okay? Sissy loves you. Where's this coming from? Huh? It doesn't make any sense to me. It's your mom. My mom. Though she didn't give me details, but I perceive that, you know, the entire relationship dynamics between you, her, and your mom kind of scared her away. Wait, what? I mean, I, I, I get it. My mom can be harsh at times, but she's really a sweetheart. Why would she put an end to a good thing because of my mom? It's not adding up. I'm only assuming here, okay? She hasn't told me anything yet, but you kept cancelling on her on your mother's demands and she felt like she wasn't a priority in your life and that was the vibe she got before you proposed to her. Why didn't she just say something? I mean, she felt she would know this by heart. And she also felt that she didn't have to put you in a situation where you have to choose between her and your mother. What? talking to her, but I, I doubt she's going to change her mind. Sissy has moved on, okay? And I don't know, there's, there's nothing I can do. Just, just take it easy, okay? Just, I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, bye. No, Jared. I can see the interface and I'm not pleased. Yes. I was expecting more vibrant colors. Come in. No, no, no. That's not the impression you gave to me. And now I have massive deadlines and the website is still not running. So when is it going to be ready? I'm sorry, I don't have that time. I don't. I am running a business. People are waiting for me to deliver, so you have to fix it, and you have to fix it fast. Yes. Thank you. Jesus Christ. I don't get these people. If someone makes you do a job, and you cannot deliver from the beginning, just say so. Goodness. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. I'm sensing a feeling. Please sit down. What's that? I'm not in the barracks. Oh. Thank you. I feel like when people know you're new in town, they try to take advantage of you. Why do they do that? What's the issue? Our website designer is a mess. And he came highly recommended. Now he's, how do you guys say that thing? Falling in the hand of the guy that recommended him. <laughs> I'm sorry you're dealing with this. But I do know a few web designers if you'd like. Yes, actually, please keep some of them on standby because I can't trust this guy. Not a problem. I'll make the calls. I also just came to make you aware that I've resumed for the day. Okay. I mean, if you have any questions, reservations, anything, just walk in. I'm not uptight. <laughs> don't be a stranger. I don't bite. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. And Sissy. Yes, ma'am. I think we'll make a great team. Definitely, ma'am. All right. Have a good day. Thank you, ma'am.
She's amazing. It honestly doesn't feel like I'm working for her. She is understanding, calm, really? sweet. Are you serious? Yeah. She's not like, go oh, get me those shoes, files, no. get me coffee. Not at all. Okay. Quite the opposite. Quite the opposite. She's very polite, very civilized. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. She's not a bully at all. I really like her. For you, girl. I know. I'm actually really happy for you. I'm happy that you're happy. Thank you. So, I mean, now that. <laughs> One of us is the least tired. Please. Mm. Oh. There's no food where you're coming from. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like you're not understanding this, my boss. You see this, my boss? Mm. She literally buys me breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you see me? I'm very satisfied. So you, you are on your are own. Are you kidding me? My dear. In the kitchen. Really? I You're doing anything. this to me. Crunch. I've been your emotional support. Okay. Baby. Are you kidding? <laughs> you can't wait a few hours. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the place is really cool. I promise you. I've been coming here for a while now. Okay. The food is to die for. Have you seen anything you want yet? Uh, yeah. Yes, I have. Oh, okay, great. Hello. Hi, good afternoon. Um, I'd like the jollof spaghetti and meatballs. And I'll have my usual. Yeah. You're really going to enjoy that, I promise you. And you haven't changed much jollof and meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> I can have it all day, every day. Yeah? I remember when your mom used to make that. I could eat it for ages and not be tired. Yeah, I know, right? It's so <laughs> yummy. It's like my comfort food. I see. Anyway, so we're getting comfortable, right? Huh? Yeah. Cheesy much. <laughs> Check time and the main now when the lights are I'll be headed to your bed with your huge smile. Then I realize I've been living lives. Time to brace up, no thinking twice. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I heard. Heard what? I heard that you and Yemi have been hanging out a lot these days. Um, where did you hear that? A little bird told me. Her mom told me that he dropped her off this evening. We just had lunch. That was it. You see it? I told you. You know, I've been saying these things. I told you that you and Yemi say I'm meant to be. <laughs> mom, please. <laughs> see, when I tell you things, you have to be listening to me. Yemi is back and she's settled. So, two of you should start planning your life together. Mom, I don't think that's how things work. Says who? <laughs> 
Phil, what is the hold up for? You've always loved this girl. You've always been fond of her for ages. So what is holding you pop up the question? What? <laughs> Stop <laughs> laughing, Phil. <laughs> You're not getting younger, neither is she. So what is holding up? And it is ungentlemanly to keep a girl like Yemi waiting. So do it. Um, you're moving faster than your shadow. No, I am not. I am not. It is ungentlemanly for you to keep a, a girl like Yemi see, waiting. So ask her to marry you. Ask her to marry you. Mom, can you go, please? I've, no. I've heard. I've heard. I've heard. <laughs> please go. Like, are you shy right now? Hmm? Mom, please, can you just leave me alone? <laughs> okay, then. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Shut the door. So, wait, let me get this straight. You're saying that you're never going to go back to him. What if he changes? That's besides the point. Phil and I could never work out. And you're definite about that? Yep. Why? Why? For the hundredth time, because of his mother. I know, you've said that. His mom is controlling and manipulative and you don't want him to pick sides. Exactly. But I, I can't reconcile what you're saying with the love that, you know, you both share. <sighs> Phil called you the other day. Phil called you. Yes, he did. And it sounded like you were the bad guy when I was giving him your reasons. Huh. Huh. Fair enough. But I'm not the bad guy. You know his mother called me a few days before he proposed? What? I'm telling you. And that woman swore at me. She said it will be over her dead body oh. that her son will marry an Igbo girl. Oh. She didn't even stop there. She said that Phil had another girl that he was going to marry. What? Yeah, since when? I don't know. But she said that um, she, she's been in the UK and that she's back now. <laughs> I don't understand I'm it. telling you. So if there's been another girl, why did he propose to you? I have no idea. But the mother said that uh, he's deceiving me. <laughs> the same way he's been deceiving all these other girls. Oh my God, wait, wait. So he's now a player. Apparently. Did you ever confront him about any of these? Of course not. Why? Why do I have to confront He, His mother doesn't want me with him. Not while she's alive. And Joe and I know that Phil always listens to everything she says. But what if she's lying? I don't care. I don't care. Why, why, I, I don't care. The mother doesn't want me with her son. Fine. There is no way I am caught out to fight that futile fight with my mother-in-law over a mommy's boy that would still pick his mom's decisions. There's no way I'm doing that. Not in this life or the next one. But babes, what if you're wrong? You really believe I'm wrong? You are really going to look me in the eye and tell me that I'm wrong. Tell us much. Drama. Hi, ma'am. Someone brought this in for you. Um, who is this? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Looks like you got yourself a charmer. Mm, I know he is so cute. <laughs> Am I not the luckiest girl in the world? You are. Trust me, you are. I mean, great job, great looks. It's only right it's a great man. Right? Yes. <laughs> so how about you? Do you have anyone special in your life? I mean, just girl chat. You don't have to answer if you're not comfortable. Oh, oh no, no, no. It's, it's nothing. I. Well, I, I used to. I used to have someone. But we called it quits. His mother didn't want a relationship. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, I pity girls that think that they can make a guy change his mind about his mom. I know, right? 
You know, I always said that. At some point, the woman even threatened me. No way. She was never going to let her son marry an evil girl. What? Yes. She, she vowed to make my life miserable unless I left her son. That's serious? Yes, that's serious. I mean, she made the relationship extremely weird. I couldn't even tell him. He has no idea the kind of mother he has. He has no clue. Girl, you better tell him. We, do, we don't even speak. You never know, you might have your last laugh. I'll think about it. Think about it. <laughs> okay. Enjoy your present. I will. Thank you. I think you should tell him. Your boss is right. Philip deserves to know what happened between you and his mother. Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about it. I have. But I don't want to give him the wrong impression about our relationship by contacting him. You know, I I don't want us back together. I actually don't. But I do think he deserves to know. So you feel there's no way at all that you guys can come back together? No. Hey, so we're done. I'm done. I don't need that sort of drama in my life. Not now, not ever. Honestly. Thank you so much. Wow, you look great. Thank you. Please, come in. I got this for you. <laughs> Thank you. Sit down. So how are you doing? Good, good. How are you? Have you gotten the address yet? Um, that is what I'm trying to call her for. Okay. Hello, Ma. I saw your message. I know the house is at Balogun Street. I'll have to confirm the house number. Okay, well, I know that street, so... How far are you from the street? Because the party has started. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Okay, hurry. I'll text you the house number as soon as I confirm it. All right, ma'am. So we're headed there now. Um, Balogun Street. Funny thing, you know that's Philip's street. I mean, so we're headed to his neighborhood. Okay, so maybe you can stop by and say hello. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> On a second thought, yeah, maybe I could. I mean, we have unfinished conversations. <laughs> You're really thinking of seeing him. I mean, not going to his house. Come on. <laughs> but you said he's been calling, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, but for a while he hasn't, and you reaching out to him would only open uh, uh, old wounds. So you don't think I should reach out to him? I mean, for now, no. Maybe. If he calls again, then mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, what? What? The address is Philip's house. What? How on earth? No, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure it's a typo. Just... Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's going to be a typo. Yeah, I'll just sort it out now. Philip's house. It's impossible. Ha! Oh my god. Ah, it's obviously not a typo, babe. No, it's not. Ah, this cake is for, it's for Philip. This cake is for Philip? Yes. Jeez. Why would you be delivering a cake to Philip's I house? I don't know. Oh, of course, today's his birthday. Shit! Um, um, is his name written on the cake? No. Okay, um, have you ever seen Phillips and your boss together before? Is that a trick question? Oh, so you think if I've seen Philip and my boss, I won't remember? Okay, I have amnesia now. Calm down. Calm down, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm very sure they're just family friends. No. There's nothing to worry about. I don't, I don't think they are. Okay. This shouldn't matter, right? I mean, he's my ex. Yeah. It, do it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, so, true. Just go in, go. drop the cake and say happy birthday and we leave. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, before you all start to leave, I'd like to say a few words. Um, Yems, you have been one of the most amazing things that have happened to me in the past couple of months. 
you came into my life at a point when I was in a very dark place and you brought light into my life. You're, you're kind, you're, you're patient, you're loving, you're a superwoman. And I cannot thank you enough for how much you transformed my life. And I'd like more than anything else in this world if you could be my wife. Wow. <laughs> That's my son. Will you be my wife? <laughs> yes, I will. I can't believe this. Babe, just calm down. Oh breathe, okay? I'm, I'm breathing. I'm calm. I just... Philip, Philip, I'm my boss. Philip is getting married to... I think so, yeah. All the people I could have worked for, I ended up with his new girlfriend. Did you know about this? That he's dating your boss? Of course not. No, no, no. I mean, did you know he was seeing someone else? Because you told me he's he's been calling. Yes, he he, he was, but he actually stopped because I told him you had moved on and you know that he should move on. And this was based on what she told me. Yes, I know. I just I know I, I said that. <sighs> Philip is getting married to Let me see. <laughs> Of course, of course. This has his mother's handwriting written all over it. To think that I was finding a way to contact him, not knowing that he was planning on engaging someone else. Gosh, that's wild. I mean, I, I told him to move on. I told him to, to go on other dates. I, I wasn't expecting him to, to slip a ring into another lady's finger. I know Philip still loves you. I highly doubt. Babes, I know what I know. Phillips is in love with you. If you were in love with me, if that were true, he wouldn't be engaging someone else. <sighs> like you said, Cece, it's his mother's handwriting. It's his mother's doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me see. I've spoken to our mothers. They're going to try to cleverly dismiss the guests. Thank you. Are you okay though? No. No, I'm not. I, I guess I'm still processing it. She works for you. And she's been working with me for a while now. Would have seen her if you came to the office. So my PA is your ex-girlfriend. You proposed to her and she said no. She didn't tell me that story. You guys talked about me. I mean, we had a girl chat, and she mentioned that she was dating this guy, and I remember telling her to tell him why she broke up with him. And what did she say? Because she never told me anything. Your mom threatened her. What? Look, I don't want to talk about this, please. 
It's not my story to share. Yes. I've been in the dark for a while now regarding this. So please, if you know anything, just tell me. I need some kind of closure. Your mom told her that if she didn't break up with you, she would make her life unbearable. When did she say that? I don't know. I think she called Sissy. Does she have her number? I don't think so, but my mom has access to my phone. She could easily have gotten the number without my consent. Hmm? Are you okay? You threatened to make Cece's life unbearable if she stayed with me. How could you do that, Mom? I told you countless times how much I loved her. And you went ahead and threatened her. Just calm down, Mom. I can't talk. Oh, you want to talk now? Why didn't you talk all the time you had the opportunity before you went ahead and ruined my happiness? Phil, but you're happy now. You just got engaged to a fantastic woman. That is beside the point. You ruined something that was working for me. But I was only trying to... That's a bloody lie, Mom. I never asked for your help. I'm a grown-ass man. I don't need you messing around with my relationships. Stay away from me. I need to see her, and I'm not going to take no for an answer. Please, Philip. Joy. Cool. I need to see her. She doesn't want to see you. Just, Joy? can you just... Joy? Joy. Let him in. <laughs> Do you mind? Yeah, I, I'll give you guys a moment. Why didn't you come to me? As you mean I gave them what? I would have spoken to her. Really? Seriously? Philip? Yes. You are unbelievable. You would have spoken to her. You would have had a conversation with her. And you think that would have won her over. You think a few talks here and there would change your tribalistic mother. My mom isn't tribalistic. Oh, please come off it, Philip. Your mother doesn't like me because of something I did or didn't do. She doesn't like me for who I am, because I'm Igbo, because I'm middle class. And you know, something tells me that you know this. Sisi. Knowing your mother, she would have expressed her hate to you. Sissy, I was working on her. Hmm. Of course you were. But I guess it wasn't good enough. I don't need this form of toxicity in my life. I'm not some broken object that needs to be placed on a shelf and for some encouraging words for the buyer to take it. I deserve better. I know. Do you? I know this. I know you do. And I'm sorry you had to go through that. But you should have told me. You should have come to me. I would have done something about it. Hmm. Tell me, Philip. What exactly would you have done?
do this. I can't leave like this. I'm done. Good morning, ma'am. Um, the accountant brought this earlier, so I just thought to bring it to you. Thank you. Aren't we going to talk about what happened yesterday? I don't think there's anything to talk about, ma'am. You're engaged to my, to my ex. Congratulations, by the way. Yes, I mean, yes, I was shocked. I was shocked to see you both at the party. Hence my reaction. I didn't think that my ex and your fiance were the same person. But right now, I'm, I'm honestly happy. I'm happy for you. Please stop lying. You're not good at it. I... How in the world can you be happy for me? I, I am. I know he came to see you. I sent him away. Do you still have feelings for him? No. He still does for you. Well, I've moved on, and I made that explicitly clear. Uh, I, I mean, I'm trying to believe you. I just cannot. Are help. you trying to fire me, ma'am? Fire? What? Why? Why would you say that? I'm not trying to fire you. Okay. Okay. I think the question here should be: Do you want to keep working here? Yes, of course. Knowing everything that you know. Yes, ma'am. I love my job, ma'am, and I love my boss. And that settles it. Okay. So we're we're good. Yeah, I think so. Cool. If you'd excuse me. If you're excused. Hey. Hi. I wasn't expecting you. I think we need to talk. What's up? You disappeared in the middle of our conversation yesterday. Yeah, I had to go see my mom. And then afterwards you went to see her. talk things over. You left me your fiancé to go talk things over with your ex. You were going to run after her the moment you saw her. I stopped you. I was acting on impulse, Yams. I hadn't seen her since after the engagement. I, when I heard what my mom did to her, I, I had to see her. Okay. I mean, I get that. Do you still love her? Philip, where does that leave us? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. You're not supposed to tell me that I'm your fiance. Yeah. 
I was in love with her since the engagement. Okay, that, that, that feeling that doesn't just go away, it doesn't disappear. Why did you propose to me in front of all those people? Why on earth would you drag me into this if you were... If you still loved your ex, why did you give me a ring? My mom made me do it. Your mother made you do it? Philip, can you hear yourself? That's your response to me. Your mother made you do it. You have no feelings for me. That's not what I'm saying. Jens. I have strong feelings for you. I may even be in love with you. Okay, but I wasn't ready for the engagement. I was pushed. I, at first, I, I, I thought, you know, why not? I mean, you're... You're special. Okay, you, you're perfect. But then I saw Cece and... I just got confused. You know... You're not confused. You're scared to defy your mother. But... I'll make things easy for you. I don't need you to marry me out of obligation or pity. I deserve true love. I deserve true happiness. I won't do this. I can make you stay. I'm drowning, drowning. Baby, I'm drowning in my own This is an amazing woman. Going after her with everything you've got. So grow up, man. I'm drowning, drowning. I'm drowning. Preparing jollof spaghetti and uh, meatballs. That's your favorite now. Can I please save the table? I just broke up with your son. What? What did he do? It's not what he did. It's, it's what he can't undo. He's still in love with his ex. Philip told you that. It's written all over him. He says he's confused. Then unconfuse him. Let him know he really loves you. I don't think it's my place to help him realize that. He should know by heart what he wants, and I think he does. Hey, Missy, no, don't say that. My son really loves you. Not like he loves her. It was you that told him to marry me. You shouldn't have. How can you love someone and you're that miserable? Just give me a minute. Madu, please don't. You want to go and convince him to want me? Don't worry about it. It's for the best. It's fine. Thank you, my please. I have to go now. Yeah, me. Yes. Engagement with TMC. Are you high on drugs? Both of you, we are perfect together. No, we're not, Mom. I don't think so. You have to end this madness and grow up. Madness. 
That's what you think of my feelings? Madness? I'm in love with CC, mom. And I do not approve of that. I don't like that girl! Can't you get it? Well, thankfully, it's not up to you. I'm done with letting your bias and tribal sentiments control me. Philip, watch what you say to me. Watch it! Why are you so mean? What did Sissy ever do to you? Well, I will not have you insult me under my roof. I will not! That's where the problem is. I'm too attached to you. But all of that ends now. What are you talking about? You deliberately ruined a good thing for me, Mom. No. I don't see the possibility of ever forgiving you. Ever. No, Philip. Everything I did, I did for you. Everything you did, you did for yourself. Because you're mean and you're vile. And I'm done with that. It's over. Philip? Did he just say those words to me? I am vile and mean? No. No. Hey. Hey. I wasn't expecting to see you there. I heard you broke up with my boss. It was for the best. It felt like I was stringing her along while I was in love with someone else all the time. It didn't seem fair. Philip, we've talked about this. Your mother, she is still a problem. No, she isn't. Yes, she is. Cece, my mother would never be a problem to you anymore. Okay, she, she's been sorted. I promise you this. You say this now, but that's your family. You're not going to go against your mother. Cece, I want to build a family with you. Okay, my mother, she's, she's the past. We are the future. She will not bother you again. I give you my word. Really? Yes. I want us back together. And you don't have to give me an answer now. But I will never give up on you. I'll never stop loving you. You can take that to the back. And you know, every time she calls, she's apologizing. The last time she even cried. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm sorry. What if she's just faking it? No, come on now, she's not. Honestly, I don't like the broken family. I'm thinking of giving her a second chance. Babe, she never gave you any chance. I'm not her. Come on, I was raised better now. Well, fair enough. <sighs> Okay, 
Hey. Hey. Hey, honey. What is she doing here? Philip. She's apologized countless times. She's sorry. Doesn't change anything. She's not accepted here. She's called me 20 times in she... a day to tell me she's sorry, Philip. Just. I'm done with her manipulation. Listen. She shouldn't be here. Philip. She has called me 20 times in a day to tell me that she's sorry. Please, just listen to her. Son, I overstepped. What you did was a little more than overstepping, Mom. I thought I was helping you, but I was wrong. I'm really sorry. It would never happen again. Please don't shut me out. Please. Philly, please listen to her for my sake. Besides, I made dinner. Can we talk over dinner and wine? Please. Please, my son. Have a seat. Well, the dinner table. <laughs> 